Aries, welcome to your October 2020 general and love reading. So Aries, your life purpose card is speaker and school. Speaker and school. Some of you are professors or teachers and you speak at the school. So others of you are orators. Okay, it says your life purpose involves your skills of oration. Some of you are speakers. School. It says the answers that you're seeking involves going to school. So many of you are in school. You're going to school, maybe taking online classes, learning something new. Okay. So others of you could be in school and you're listening to lectures. Others of you are professors and teachers of some kind, motivational speaker, inspirational speakers, and they're saying that maybe you need to take a class or something to help you along the way. Okay, so your Abraham Hicks card, the one that fell out over here is, I want to feel good. I want to feel good today, no matter where I'm going, no matter what I'm doing, no matter who I am doing it with, it is my dominant intention to see that which I am wanting to see. Wow. It is my dominant intention to see that, that I'm wanting to see. That's really powerful, Aries. All right. So Aries, we are going to start this reading here. And then we're going to finish it at Vimeo and at my website. If you want to see the extended version of this reading, I will tell you more information about it at the end of the video. Okay? Okay, I need some sage. I need to get some sage again, Aries. I really, really do. Okay, so again, this is not going to resonate with every Aries out there. If it doesn't resonate, try your moon sign or try your rising sign. Okay, so Aries. At the heart of the matter is the emperor qualified by the Ten of Pentacles. But we have the emperor here and... As a person, the emperor represents maybe an older man or older person who is good in business and usually wealthy, but this could be parts of you. The emperor is solid and a stable man, powerful, grounded, a protector, a provider. But he can also be rigid and stubborn. This can be a father or a father figure or an older man who you're dating romantically involved with if you're a cross watcher or older Aries all right but some of you could be older and you're the Aries than someone that you're dating some of you as far as business is concerned if you're single you're going to be doing very well in your business or career whether you're single or not I see you having the energy to get some major work done or to succeed in your business and if this is not representing a person, then this is just saying that a lot of concentration and structure and stability and focus are going to be required if you want to succeed at some dream that you have, especially a dream for your business. Like I know this Aries who wants to have a contractor's license. And he's doing carpentry work now, but he really wants his contractor's license. And in order to do that, he needs to study. He needs to study um, and then buckle down and take the test. So they're saying that you're going to buckle down and do something in October. All right. Also, this could the emperor could represent a father figure. Usually the emperor is married, so you can be a married Aries. Okay, you could be dating a married man. The emperor is very dedicated to his wife. All right. Some of you are Aries uh, females, and this sounds like you're a man. A lot of you are married or in relationships. And if you're single, I just see that, um, you know, maybe you're taking care of your family, your extended family. Or you're like the, the person that everybody goes to. Okay, but yeah, 
I definitely feel that some of you are definitely in relationships here. Okay, so Aries, your advice is the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups. So Aries is telling you that it is time to accept more social offers, to be more social. Maybe it's time to get on social media. Maybe it's time for you to put yourself out there a little bit if you're not on social media. I don't know. It's basically the cards are saying, you know, that it's time to be more social, accept more offers, accept more invitations. Invitations are coming in and accept them or be more romantic and compassionate with your lover. All right. Maybe you're being advised to go out more, to date your partner or you know, to bring the romance back. Because, you know, the Emperor's energy is kind of stoic and selfish and a little rigid and stubborn. But he's wealthy and he's a protector and a good provider. And, you know, rules by, this is ruled by Mars. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces here. Another Aries. But yet yeah, this card can be a little rigid and they're saying, you know, be a little more emotional and tender with your significant other. This is your advice here. Some of you are going to be swept off your feet too. And they're saying sweep your person off their feet. Because the Knight of Cups can also represent gentleness, affection, and warmth. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, where is this at? Okay, the Knight of Cups qualified by the Knight of Wands. So yeah, get out the house more, go out places, explore more places. I know we have COVID-19, so that limits where you can go. But if you can take a drive someplace with your partner, do that. Um, your partner wants more me time with you. Or this could be you, Aries, wanting more me we time with each other. Okay, because somebody is very focused. Now your partner or your person is coming in as the Seven of Pentacles, clarified by the Six of Cups. So your partner feels like you're their soulmate. Okay, your person feels like you're their soulmate. And they are very invested in you with the Seven of Pentacles here. Your person feels like they've been working very hard to make this relationship work. They may have been um, working hard to be kind to you, to speak to you in a loving manner, whatever, but they feel like they've been working really hard to make this relationship work. And they also are feeling like they see that their efforts are paying off. All right? Because this is a card of feeling like your investments are paying off. Your person is expecting some fruitful results some fruitful results from this relationship, from all the time, effort, and energy that they've invested. Like they want romance and dates and closeness and respect and intimacy. And they're going to be getting those things from you in October. Okay? Because your person feels like they have put up with a lot of stuff. In October, they're going to finally feel like they've reaped the rewards for all their hard work and effort. You know, especially the hard work and effort with making you happy. And Aries, this may be you. But um, I see that you're going to be, Aries, equally interested in working hard to make this relationship work. Because you come in as the Eight of Pentacles. So your person comes in as the Seven of Pentacles and you come in as the Eight of Pentacles. And you are equally invested in this relationship and you're going to be working hard to make this relationship work too but also the eight of pentacles talks about um it's a time of hard work commitment diligence dedication your your work period is very important to you right now aries it's like you're going to be focused on work doing a meticulous job at whatever it is you do for a living. I see you really career oriented. 
okay? But you're equally interested in working hard to make this work, all right? You and your partner may be playing nice to each other. This is going to be a hard time for you, or not a hard time, but a lot of hard work for you because I see you being diligent and dedicated with your job. And again, your work is very important to you. And you're going to try really hard to make the effort to um, work hard and to have your significant other. Both of them are going to be important to you. But I do see you focused on work a little bit more. Okay, so your answer, one of the answers that's manifesting is the Queen of Wands, which is you. You and your partner look at each other as higher than you guys look at anybody else. You and your partner view the other as their significant other. Okay, so both of you are in the same boat in regards to how you feel about each other. And the Queen of Wands can also indicate like as a meaning like what she represents to me as a reader is um, you're going to be very optimistic, outgoing and full of energy in October. OK, you might be accomplishing many tasks and keeping a lot of balls in the air. People will just get tired from looking at you because you're going to always be on the go with this type of energy. But this card for me represents taking charge of things and organizing your life. All right. It's a card of being efficient and helping others. All right. But it also represents somebody choosing you above anybody else and you choosing that other person above everybody else. So that's what I see in regards to that. I see you coming in doing good with business, maybe married, maybe to marry to a Sagittarius, Aries, um, uh, Leo. Right, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces is here. Virgo, Scorpio is here. Uh, Virgo, I see everybody here, actually. But I really see who Aries here. I see you here, the strongest Aries. I see fire and I see earth here. But it could be anybody. So what's coming in is the fool with the hangman. So you guys want to take a leap of faith with each other again and have with the Page of Wands, a new passionate start in this permanent relationship. A passionate start in a permanent relationship that the Emperor is in because the Emperor loves this person. And there's a lot of passion here. And you guys want to take a leave of faith and be with each other. And the answer is the Ace of Pentacles. So. Many of you are going to have new levels of prosperity financially in October. I see, you know, you hanging in there with this person for some of you and new levels of financial prosperity is going to come your way. But you may have to travel for it or you may be separated from your loved ones as a result of this travel opportunity or this job opportunity here. Yeah. So I see work being really good for you. I see you and your significant other here. But their back is kind of turned towards you. They're moving toward, but they're moving towards investing in this relationship. And your back is turned towards investing in this relationship. You are focused on the dollar and creating some money to provide Maybe that's how you demonstrate your love through provision. I see you providing here and I see you getting good news regarding money in your future. Yeah, as far as love is concerned, your person is very dedicated and invested in this. And your person feels like they've persevered and they've put in a lot of work 
and maybe you like a lot of sex and they feel like they give you a lot of sex for whoever this resonates with right because we have that Scorpio card here they invest a lot in you and they're very invested in you and I see you equally invested in them with the eight of pentacles here giving them a ring some of you may get a ring this month but yeah some of you work with this person and you guys have worked together for a long time and this person already has a wife or something like that but um there is very clear very clear attraction between the two of the two of you yeah some of you feel this way about a boss there's an Aries boss or there's a boss who you have feelings for or you work for somebody that you you guys have feelings for each other for some of you um, you guys are gonna have a passionate beginning with each other and maybe begin to start going out with each other for some of you okay Maybe you need a reading so we can take a look and see what the cards have to say about you and somebody else, baby. All right, Aries, so that's what I got for you. Basically, you know, some of you are in relationships and they want you to, if you are single and you've been working a lot, they want you to accept more social invitations and if you're in a relationship, they want you to take your wife out or you want your significant other to maybe be more romantic with you and take you out more. But you're here to stay. Your person is here to stay. They're very invested. They could have been invested um, for a long time. I see seven years here. Some of you will be with this person for the next seven years. Especially if you're listening to this video and you attracted it. Yeah. Some of you have already been together for seven years or more. Some of you have been together for ten years or more. If not, that's definitely um, longevity here in the cards for this month. That's what the energy is looking like. Longevity here all right so Aries that's what I have for you let's take a look at what you need to know let's take a look at what you need to know what does Aries need to know Don't blame it on the sunshine. Don't blame it on the moonlight. Don't blame it on the good times. Blame it on the boogie. What does Aries need to know? What does Aries need to know that their person is not telling them? What does Aries need to know that their person is not telling them? What does Aries need to know that their person is not telling them? What does Aries need to know that their person is not telling them? What does Aries need to know that their person is not telling them? What does Aries need to know? I'm going to answer that, that their partners are not telling them. Where is this relationship going? Is there someone else? If so, where is that relationship going? Will this relationship end in commitment? What are their next actions going to be? And what is the outcome? All right, so let's turn over the first three cards and find out what is it that you need to know. Wow. 
It looks like your person wants a new job or something. So your person wants to take a leap of faith and do something else professionally. They may or may not be telling you this. Um, but yeah, we see somebody working really hard here with the Eight of Pentacles. And then we see somebody at their job, you know, holding up the Queen of Wands, holding up the Wands, because that represents work or action for me. And then we see somebody taking a leap of faith, doing some type of new work. So maybe they want to start a side business. Maybe they want to start a business. Okay, let's clarify this. Let's see. What does Aries need to know? What do Aries need to know about the Eight of, of, eight of uh, Coins? Another thing is that um, they really want to work it out with you because they um, see you as somebody who that is very important to them. And they just want a new adventure. Like, they don't want things to stay still. They want... Um, your person, your person likes you, your person like you, they don't want things to get stale. They want to work on keeping things fresh and they may not know how to tell you that. They want things to stay fresh and new. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm getting from that. All right, let's see what we get. Yeah, your person is hanging in there and willing to do what it takes. Your person also is very manipulative. And they always, they're coming in as the king of swords, so they have a plan. They're planning something. Hmm. Your person, I feel like I'm going to stick with the first thing that I saw, which is... Um, your person wants to keep things fresh and new. And they want sex to be fresh and new. Um, they want the relationships to, to stay new. They want things to stay hot. All right, that's what I'm seeing. How much more time we have here? Okay. All right, so Aries, I hope you enjoyed your October reading. We're going to turn these cards over. Um, and if you want to see the extended version of this reading, It'll say click below for the Aries um, extended video and it'll take you to either Vimeo or to my website and you can see the extended video and we're going to answer the questions that I had posed a little earlier, okay? All right, so I'm getting ready to turn the cards over right now and hopefully you'll get the extended video if it resonated with you and God bless. See you next month.